Will Josie Altador play this weekend? I asked that question to head coach Greg Vanny, and the plan is for Altador to be part of the 18. But there are further benchmarks that Altador needs to prove fit in order for him to get the green light. Altador's done a real nice job, and there was encouragement around the player based upon his training sessions over recent days. He started off warming up with the group, then doing fitness on the side. Now he's taking part in attacking drills. What he needs to prove is that he's able to participate in the defensive elements of the preparation, as well as shooting drills. If he can do so, then yes, he will be part of the, of the setup come this Sunday. Now, speaking to Altador, he hasn't started a game for TFC in five and a half months, and he believes he'd be better off being in the starting 11 than coming off the bench. It's easier to kind of work yourself into a game from the get-go than jumping on a moving trade. Something to keep in mind, the club and the player will proceed with caution as after Sunday's game against the Revs, they don't play for 12 more days after. Now, this could open the door for Terrence Boyd to feature come Sunday. The coaching staff is really encouraged by the way that he's really grown into the team in training sessions, understanding about the way they want to play. Or Jordan Hamilton can be handed another start. He's played two really good back-to-back -back games, and the coaching staff pointed to his holdup play as being very good in the win over the Union. What they want to see out of Jay Hams is a little bit more consistency, and this weekend may provide the opportunity to do just that. There'll be plenty to celebrate for Jay Hams come Sunday, the home opener, St. Patrick's Day, as well as celebrating his 23rd birthday. This was your TFC Insider, and I am Gareth Wheeler.